You there! Do you have swag? What's that? Swag is an aura of coolness, followed by being extremely awesome. Like so. Swag. Miles J. Oh. I don't think I have any of that. I know! Cause normally your swag would look like this. Airball. Brick. Basically, you suck. But you need not fear. Hey. Ta 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 Lichis is here. Just wearing this hand. get to my level shirt will raise your swag level by 90%. It'll make you pop your ass like ta 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 Lichis herself. And it's only available on wearthatshirt.com. Go there now. Stop. Breathe. Bend down. Breathe. Stop. Breathe. Spread your cheeks. Breathe. Now stop. Breathe. Use the condom, breathe, now stop, and then, and snap, breathe, what, now, bitches, you can't stand up to ta-ta-ta-licious, what you gonna do, warning, results may vary, oh, 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 Hey everybody, Miles J here, and this week is WearThatShirt.com. We are wearing the shirt, the shirt, the shirt, the shirt, the shirt, the And today is Friday, and you're watching Miles J on Gays of the Week. So, let's begin with this morning. Um, so I was, you know, peacefully sleeping, and then all of a sudden I hear this. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is that? So then I realized there's people outside cutting the grass, so I was like, okay. And then I fall back asleep, but then I hear this. It sounded like a fucking chainsaw was at my window. I could not fall back asleep after that. I actually, I got my ass out of bed. Maybe that should be my new alarm, a chainsaw at my window. So that way I won't stay in until two o'clock in the afternoon sleeping. Besides that, this week was good. I tried to apply for a job at GameStop. Hi, I was calling to apply for a job for um, GameStop. Yeah, it didn't go that well. Oh, and do you notice something new about me? I bet you'll never guess. I'm not wearing pants! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure you've recognized it by now, but I've got red hair! Oh my god! Yes, I am very satisfied with it. And I also got new eyeballs. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight to the questions. Okay, so Ryan's question was, what's our catchphrase? Well, I do believe I say, it's Miles J here in every video, so that would probably be it for videos. And I say, you know, and so, and and a lot too, but I cut those out because it can get really repetitive. And see, there goes another and. There, um, I also say, um, a lot. <laughs> I also say, oh my god. I don't really have that many catchphrases anymore because I don't really talk to people that often. Yeah, I'm lonely. Next question comes from Brian and Daniel, and they ask, it had something to do with their video. I'm not gonna say where it is, because you know, I'm not in this contest thing. I've already got my shirt, you know, so yeah. Next question comes from Scottney, and Scottney asks, if somebody asked me, Who's Scottney and what does this mean? I would say Scottney is a fabulous ass motherfucker that graces us with his presence because he doesn't have to be here. You either love him or you die. And that's all I have to say about it. Ross and Rowley's question was, oh my God, you guys are so touchy feely with each other. Like if you don't know that everybody else knows what's going on, we all know, okay? We all see what you guys are doing. You guys aren't hiding anything, okay? We know. But your question was, Ross and Rolly go into the woods. Ross and Rolly go into the woods to fetch a pail of water. Ross fell down and Rolly did too. They rolled down the hill and laughed at. Once they stopped, they got back up and had their pail of water. Then Ross fell down, took Rolly to the ground, and they had their happily ever after. Ta-da! That was an original from Miles J. Yes, that's all for the questions this week. And my question from last week was, have you ever had a psychic experience? Now, most of the gays said this. No. You guys couldn't even have fun with it and just say yes and make up some story, okay? That was a pretty creative, open question. But when I was asking, have you had a psychic experience? I wasn't asking if you had went to a psychic. But I guess since I just left it open, like psychic experience, you guys just thought, oh, have I gone to a psychic? No, I meant like, have you actually had a... <gasps> moment? But you know what? It's okay, because you guys probably would have said no anyway. 
As for me, I've had a couple, especially in this past freaking week. I have one in particular, okay? So I was having a freaking nightmare, okay? And I had dreamed that like my lights went out and then this monster was trying to like claw me into the darkness or something. So I had ran into my laundry room and turned the light on and the monster went away. And then that's when I woke up and I was like, oh shit. So then I go to turn on my light immediately. My light fucking goes out. I was like, oh fuck no. So I ran into the laundry room and really turned the light on. I was like, what the fuck is this real? I was thoroughly disturbed. <laughs> like you don't even know. That was a really strange moment. And here are some of the viewer comments. <laughs> guys it seems like some of you have had psychic experiences I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who's a mystical being so my question this week as pertaining to Ta -ta -ta is what video did Tata -ta -ta first make her debut yes I'm gonna make you do like what Brian and Daniel did and search all over YouTube for this video but I'll give you a hint the video has a little over 13,000 views and a special someone saw it now if you guys follow me this should be extremely extremely easy. Um, if you guys can't get it within the first few minutes, I'll give you guys another hint. And the person who gets the answer right wins this t-shirt made by wearthatshirt.com and they get that for free. And for those of you who don't get it, it's okay. Just enter in the promo code gaze of the week. That's gaze of the week. Some of that money will go towards our funds so that way we can plan this giant orgy that we've been planning on doing for like years. If you guys want to see an orgy and you want to see it with the other gays, then I would suggest putting your money into that. Into us. Just a little bit. I mean, we're not asking for that much. Just saying. So, if you want to see that happening, go guys, go, go, go! And that's it for me, Miles J. Get down in the comments below, and I don't mind if you guys leave me a little video response just saying hi. I mean, I haven't seen you guys in so long, so, yes. Talk to you guys all later. Bye! What you gonna do?